Hey everybody, this is Dr. Mystical, and this is an unboxing of the Muse Tarot, a gift to our community from our moderator, Christina D. Thank you so much, Christina, for getting this gift uh, for our community. Uh, the Muse Tarot has been on my list since getting the Light Sears Tarot and realizing just what a beautiful creator Chris Ann is. Um, so thank you so much for this gift. Um, comes nicely bubble wrapped to protect the box. I gotta tell you, I appreciate that a whole lot. Um, so there is the Muse Tarot. There's the front of it. Um, it is shrink wrapped. So there's the, the box, the side of the box, the back, the other side, top, and the bottom. So let's uh, take a look. We're going to open this very carefully to not scratch uh, the box. So we'll just take that cut and check out the box. So there's the box again. Very nicely done, very colorful. This is different, of course, than the Light Sears Tarot. It looks a little bit more kind of mixed media type art where we have kind of drawings and images. And in typical Chris Ann style, there's a wonderful saying inside the cover of the box it says, there is magic and truth. There is truth in my veins where my blood speaks in, so in sooth and soothe and my mind has no reins. So there's the book, a uh, very standard little white book, um, certainly more colorful. Uh, what you don't see in this book is um, the images of the cards. So uh, it is just the, it is the card itself, the eight of emotions, for example, with keywords, a prompt, and a little bit of a story to go along. So we'll check that out. But of course, we, we're here to see the cards. Yes, friends. So there's the bottom of the box, little... Uh, fish for our enjoyment. The tarot cards are wrapped in a little piece of paper, so they're not cellophane wrapped, which again is something that I really like. Let's check out the card quality. So you can see it's a nice kind of thick card stock. Um, pretty standard tarot. Do you have the Light Sears tarot? This is the exact same size deck. There's the back of the cards. Let's check out the card, shall we? So we'll just turn this over because uh, the cards are um, in order and certainly right here from the very beginning. So let's just check out um, the style of these cards. The Fool, the Magician, the Priestess. I like the Empress here, right? The whole kind of everything within the Empress. Again, it's that beautiful kind of mixed media type of artwork that I really enjoy with this particular deck or strength card looks like it's again like Chris Ann from other decks um, this is a very inclusive uh, inclusive and representative deck looking at cultures and people from across our wonderful world of diversity the death card. I like uh, the inclusion of the moth, a little nod to, maybe it's a nod to a movie, but I certainly do like the devil card. Oh, I like the tower representation here where normally we see kind of the tower crumbling, but it really talks more about change in our lives. So I really, I really like that representation. The moon card, oh, just a beautiful uh, flower. Awakening the world cosmos, right? So the world of a different um, of a different kind of interpretation, right? So we're looking at the kind of the cosmos, the connectedness of the world. And there are themes of connectedness all through. So here we have the Ace of Inspiration. So we already know that the deck is following different names for the suits. Two of Inspiration. I like the sense of kind of finding something in the middle of nothing. And we'll do a flip through of this deck in another video, of course, uh, but just to get a look at it now. Ten of Inspiration. So we'll have to go through the book and see how the inspiration, different the different suit names correspond. Oh, and here we have a card that is flipped. So instead of seeing a queen of uh, king of inspiration, we see the muse of inspiration. 
So I'm going to think that that's probably swords, right? Is a lot to do with kind of our connectedness through our mind. Ace of emotions, we'll assume that that's cups. We see a lot of water representation here. So beautiful kind of representation, the three of emotions, the four of emotions, that sense of there's the cups very clearly represented, that coldness of the five. The knight of emotions, the queen of emotions, and then of course we see the muse of emotions in landscape. So this is another deck in our collection that is mixing portrait and landscape um, landscape cards, and that's totally fine. I think it gives us a sense of needing to pause and reflect on each of the cards. I love this five of voices. So I'll be curious to see how these suits are represented. The queen of emotions and again, the muse of voices. Sorry, I said queen of emotions, I meant queen of voices. Ace of material, so this is probably voices more wands, right? Ace of materials, resources. I love this sense of kind of movement and rhythm and flow in the two of materials, absolutely. The Ten of Materials, the Queen of Materials, and the Muse of Materials. So let's take a look at how this deck will shuffle. Um, let's get everything kind of in its order. So uh, the cardstock, um, it's not high gloss. It's kind of, it's it, it does have a little bit of a shine uh, to it. So it's not quite the kind of matted silkiness of the light. Oh, uh, but I certainly love... I mean, I love the edging, but I, you know, if you were a deck modifier, you might want to modify that. So first up, let's fan shuffle it. See how it does. It does pretty well. It's a perfect cardstock for a fan shuffling. Um, so shuffles very well. Nicely done. Um, we'll do one more, right? And then we'll check out the overhand shuffle, see how it goes uh, for overhand shuffling. And then let's draw a card, shall we? Get to do kind of a first reading, uh, kind of check the intuition of the of the deck and see um, how it goes. So overhand shuffling. And I guess that's just going to be our card. That's just going to be our card. It's come popped out here. Um, so two of, two of inspiration um, talks to me a little bit about kind of where I am um, in my kind of current realm, right? I'm doing a lot of creative projects a lot of um, mindfulness, a lot of thinking about uh, kind of what direction I need to go in, but also during um, kind of in the day hustle, as it were, um, a lot of working with um, my mind and thoughtfulness as we uh, make some changes in our world there. But certainly the two of inspiration, I feel drawn to uh, creative pursuits uh, and doing those creative pursuits and kind of following through. And I spent a lot of my day and my night kind of working on those things. So here we go, two of inspiration, keywords, seeking new paths for yourself, moving past comfort zones, um, the activation of potential, desire, new experiences, travel, adventure, home, family, heart, dreamy uh, prompt is dreamy complacency. It goes on to say, the two of inspiration sees her, dream, her desires on the horizon, sees uh, and she begins to manifest the arrival of this opportunity by activating in her heart, her thoughts. Still, she has one foot rooted in her old life, and yet she is taking the first step by peeking her head out and opening up to the possibility of this exciting new path. Oh, the things she could do. Sometimes it feels de uh, destined. Sometimes it feels wild. And on occasion like today, she realizes that all thinking and dreaming will never replace the doing, the going, the muse reminds you to grab your bags, your tickets, your trinkets, and your talismans, and step into the unseen. Taking the inspirate, taking the step, uh, taking the step will forever change your trajectory. And if you want to move in the direction of your dreams, you must actively do so. Your extraordinary life requires extraordinary choices, and certainly that fits 
uh, very much with kind of what I was just talking about, right? The sort of creative pursuits, but not just thinking about it, but moving that from thinking about it to doing it. The Muse Tarot, a wonderful, just beautiful deck. I can't wait to do the flip through with it and read with it in the show, uh, in our Tarot Tuesday and Tarot Friday okay. live tarot reading show. Of course, you're invited to that. Friends, if you enjoy the Muse Tarot, make sure to leave a comment. Thank Christina for this gift to our community. Um, she has been a wonderful mod and a muse in her own right uh, for some of the things that we've been doing. So thank you so much, Christina, for this beautiful, wonderful deck. I can't wait to do more with it and see it in action. So thank you so much. Friends, if you got value out of this video, consider subscribing and setting the alert.